This is verse 6 of the 14th chapter of the Gospel of Matthew. We're in the midst of Matthew's description of the birthday party for Herod Antipas, in which the daughter of Herodias had danced for him and the other guests and pleased him so much that he now makes this extraordinary promise. And we find it documented in uh, this verse 7. So, uh, hothen, this is a coordinating conjunction, as it's called, whence, or as a result of this. Meth from meta means with, when it's used with the uh, genitive, as we have here. Horku is from horkos. It means an oath. The root of it is uh, uh, the same root from which uh, ideas of limitation, horizon, for example, in English, is related to that. And so he limits himself. That's the derivation of it. He takes an oath, putting a limit on himself, uh, constraining himself to do something. Uh, so with an oath, homologesen from homologao uh, means to confess, to say the same thing. Uh, this is uh, a promise, really. Uh, he's uh, making a promise. It's third person singular, aorist, active indicative. So, with an oath, he promised. Aute, uh, feminine, thir uh, third person pronoun, to her. Uh, dunai, from didomi, I give. This is a uh, aorist infinitive. He promised to give to her. Ho, ian, taken together, whatever. The and is going to uh, suggest the subjunctive, which we have here. So, aiteisetai, from aiteo, uh, means to ask, normally means to ask as a inferior asking of a superior. And uh, that's the idea here. So, he, with an oath, promises uh, to give to her whatsoever uh, she would ask. 